We're also talking this morning about the prospect of a government shutdown averted for now. Congress passed a temporary budget yesterday to keep the government open for two more weeks. This will maintain spending for government programs through December 22nd. For a long-term solution, Republicans put Pentagon spending at the top of their wish list, but Democrats want DACA, a deal for dreamers, demanding that Republicans come up with a way to help the people who were brought into the U.S. illegally as children. Well, for more on this, let's bring in Oliver McGee. He is a former U.S. Deputy Assistant Secretary of Transportation for Technology Policy in the Clinton administration. He's also the author of Jump in the Aisle, How I Became a Black Republican in the Age of Obama. Good morning. Good morning, Cheryl. They're pushing it to the wire. I guess that's no surprise when it comes to Congress, Oliver. But this short-term deal, they're still arguing about, on the Democratic side, the dreamers, Nancy Pelosi, is saying we've got to have something, she wants something now. The Republicans are saying it's about the military. Can they get an agreement for a longer-term spending bill in place before Christmas? I think so. I think the, uh, when the leader uh, McConnell and uh, Ryan and Nancy Pelosi uh, were wait, are meeting with Vice President Pence and, and President Trump and White in the Oval Office, I think they were really uh, happy about what they were trying to come to in negotiations. And uh, I think they're going to be coming up with a, a spending bill that has some constraints on what the spending is going to be in 2019 while they're trying to set up some caps in 2018. And, and as you said, it's very much so about the Dems with the, uh, for the Dreamers and the uh, Republicans for defense spending. And, and basically, the two will find some path to meet it's together. It's interesting, to though. Make but you say that, but it's interesting, Oliver, because I want you to listen to what Luis Gutierrez had to say. He's a Democrat, of course, about where the Democrats stand. Pretty strong language. Listen to this. If you need help of Democrats, then it can't be a Republican budget. It has to be an American budget. And within that American budget, it has to include values and ideals of Democrats. Oliver, the Republicans go, cannot go it alone on the budget. Right. They can, and, and they really need to uh, have some type of compromise here. I think the White House and President Trump wants to do something about DACA, but at the same time, they want, he wants to make sure that uh, the military is well supported. Uh, remember, the uh, government is about, the White House is about the guns and the money, and they want to make sure that there's enough money to go around for the guns, but at the same time, uh, there is some American values that it, uh, Trump is trying to ensure with DACA to ensure that that is uh, uh, put in place. But he does not want that a part of the budget. He wants mm -hmm. that to be separate so right. that he can try to be able to come at that at a different angle. And most of all, he wants to ensure that the corporate tax discussion is right. at 20% right. and so that uh, we can be competitive across nations. Because Britain's going down below 20% in the corporate tax rate and right. Ireland's at 12%. So we really need to push this a little bit at the 20%. And it's that's everywhere. Their it's everywhere. Oliver yeah. McGee, thanks for getting up with us so early this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. <laughs>